We told you at nine police arrested Devonte Wemed for two robberies as well as other thefts. And as you can see in this photo, looks like he got hurt along the way as well. Fox 23's Abigail Dye joins us live after learning how police say he tried to escape them. Abby. That's right, Sarah. It's actually really interesting. Police tell me that they had we met down here at the detectives division questioning him. And when they were done with questioning, they went to transport him to the jail. So, of course, they cuffed him, put his hands behind his back and put him in a car. They say that somehow with his hands cuffed behind his back, we met unbuckled his seatbelt and managed to throw himself out of that moving vehicle. But of course, with his hands still cuffed behind his back, they say he didn't make it very far. Tuesday night, police arrested Devante we met for two robberies and two larcenies. Police say this is him stealing packages off a of porch in South Tulsa. And they say that this is him robbing a cell phone store near 61st and South Lewis Tuesday. Police say just three days before this video, he allegedly robbed a UPS worker. With all of this video evidence, police were able to arrest we met that night, but not without a fight. The story gets even weirder. Robbery Lieutenant Justin Ritter says once police cuffed we met and put him in a car to go to jail. He decides that he's going to bail out of the car. He's handcuffed behind his back, which is our policy. That's what we do. But he's able to unbuckle his seatbelt, open the passenger front door and jump out onto Denver. All while apparently wearing a white jumpsuit, police give suspects when they need their clothes for evidence. So yeah, he's running down Denver handcuffed, wearing a white marshmallow suit and doesn't get very far before he trips over a curb and goes face first into the curb, into the sidewalk. Ritter says we met was taken to the hospital to be checked before being booked into jail. We met is being held on multiple counts, including robbery and escape from arrest, but he is not yet charged. And this case will continue to update you as it moves forward. Live covering news that matters, I'm Abigail Dye, Fox 23 News.